space probes. We don't use Einstein's equations. They only apply when you get near the speed of light or near a black hole. We use Newton's laws of gravity. They are so precise that when we shoot a space probe right past the rings of Saturn, we use exactly the same equations that Isaac Newton unraveled in the 1600s. That's why we've been able to unravel the secrets of the solar system, complements of the laws of motion of Isaac Newton. So what Newton did was not only did he set into motion the ability to calculate planets, he also set into motion a mechanics. Machines now operated upon well-defined laws. Newton's three laws of motion. The first law of motion says that objects in motion stay in motion forever unless acted on by an outside force. You see that in an ice skating rink. You shoot a puck and it goes all the way down forever unless acted on by an outside force. That's different from Aristotle's law of motion. Aristotle said, objects in motion eventually stop because they get tired. The second law of motion says, force is mass times acceleration. And that equation made possible the Industrial Revolution. Steam engines, locomotives, factories, machines, all of it due to the mechanics set into motion by Isaac Newton's second law of motion, force is equal to mass times acceleration. And then Newton had a third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's the law of rockets. That's why we have rockets that can sail into outer space. So the lesson here is, when scientists unravel the first force of the universe, gravity, that set into motion the Industrial Revolution. A revolution which toppled the kings and queens of Europe, which displaced feudalism, ushering in the modern age, all because a 23-year-old gentleman looked up and asked the question, does the moon also fall? You know, when I was a kid growing up in California, I would see pictures of the Empire State Building. And I said to myself, how could they possibly build such a big building and not know that it's going to fall? Why doesn't it fall? They didn't build scale models of the thing. You couldn't have an Empire State Building that big to test whether it's going to fall or not. How did they know ahead of time that that building wouldn't fall? And the answer is Newton's laws of motion. In fact, today I teach Newton's laws of motion, and you can actually calculate the forces on every single brick of the Empire State Building using Newton's